think about it. Should I take pictures of myself? Hmm, my naked pictures. Oh, I don't want to post it online, so let me just leave it on my phone. What's it? Lisa here and this is our rendezvous welcome to my channel of course so I like to address this thing where that I see where people have their nude pictures leaking online and I don't even know Seth. first of all I have so many questions as to why or I should just even leave it Seth. let me not ask you why you were doing that because I already have a couple of reasons but before that I think I would want to go into the two categories before we go further, first, there are the people that have the money, go to a studio or call a photographer and they have a nude photo shoot. Those people don't have any problem. It's not a big deal for them. Their pictures, you know, yeah, they're cool. They're good. So, in fact, we're not even focusing on those ones. They're cool. But this second category, the ones who take the pictures and don't intend to post it online or for it to leak or for the global community to see it no they don't plan that they just take it for probably their viewing pleasure and another person's viewing pleasure <laughs> so those ones are the people that i want to talk about because they suffer more they are they bear the brunt of this thing i'm talking about what's that that's it leaking you know as i said earlier some of the reasons or some of the some of the reasons why these people do this i have come to the conclusion is that maybe first of all of course sex team which you should know if you don't i'd like to say ask Google, but then i don't want to send you to go and do that like i'm spoiling you so let me just tell you i think no it is actually sexting is like sexual chat text message with your picture that kind of thing you shall have an idea and then another reason is um probably they're just fooling around with their bodies there are some people that you know they just they just have a phone a very nice camera and then a nice body and then a nice mirror and you're like oh let's just hang around and have fun and maybe friends are around and you're playing around fooling around with your body and your naked picture okay it's fine i mean you're an adult you can do whatever you want to do i'm not stopping you i'm not your mama and then finally the other the last set of people are the people that for instance they want to check something on their bodies and they can't really see it like i want to see something on my back like my lower back and i can't really see it and so i take a picture maybe i'm not wearing clothes you know and then i take a picture of it that could be a reason so there could be more reasons but these are some of the reasons i have decided and i feel they are all valid and the person knows why he was taking those pictures in the first place like you're an adult like i said you can do whatever it is you want to do with your bodies the problem i have is why you didn't think about the fact that if you save it on your phone somebody may stumble across is that english correct somebody may stumble on it whatever you know what i mean like someone especially in this part of the world where you know i don't know if you guys have experienced this but someone comes around and, oh hi i want to say how are you doing oh lisa can i see your phone and then the first thing the next thing the person goes to check is your media gallery or videos and music so people tend to check those things a lot in your phone so you can't be having naked pictures of yourself or sex tapes lying around your phone or your laptop if it can ruin you okay there's a story of a final year student in a very prestigious university in nigeria so the girl um apparently she went to repair her laptop and the person fixing the laptop stumbled on her nude pictures and then um, what do you call it sex tape and then she was a lesbian oh my gosh just to tell you that that lady did not graduate in peace her story was trending all over school in fact there was a, a major show that was held on campus and then um, some celebrities uh, um, comedians yeah I think basket mouth even used the matter to crack joke that was how much it spread I can just imagine like her life would be she just feel like she's is shattered or ruined but it was on her laptop and he, of course it was not even someone that you know 
it was someone that went to that she went to repair the laptop with the laptop repairer that did this to her so if that person can do the you see the point is don't leave these kind of things lying around it's going to harm you to ruin you especially when it goes on the internet because the internet never forgets Tomorrow, next tomorrow, you can be a governor, you'll be aspiring to be a minister or something, and people will go back to that. Like, they'll go and bring your archives. Even if you try to bring it down from the internet, people will screen grab it. Yes, they have it on their phone. They'll use it and threaten you. They are not good. These things are not good. They're actually detrimental to your personality. Right? There's even the story of, of this pastor that was caught. <laughs> I don't want to talk much about it, but there's just the way people actually look at him now. Because, you know, these things are not good for you, even though it was his wife or something like that. But still, there's just the mentality human beings have. You guys, please, 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 okay? So the point I'm trying to make is, if you don't intend to make this go public, then don't save it. Or, I don't know, how do you want to save it that nobody will see it? If there's a way you can do that, by all means. But if there's no way you can do that, then don't leave it lying around because someone can use it and harm you. Or well, maybe they can use it to blackmail you. It's possible, like someone like this girl now, if someone had gotten it, oh, tell me one million, or I'll let everybody see this, or I'll leak it and post it online, you know, things like this. And it's not it's not really nice, it's not healthy. You can just think about her, her family, her friends, everyone. Her life will just be ruined. Like, it's just a very crazy situation i can just imagine so my advice to you is that if you cannot see there are applications that can hide things like this and you can password them right protect them with a password if you can get those applications good and fine but then bear in mind that these kind of things can be hacked even the cloud can be hacked i mean we have several celebrities whose high cloud was hacked and then their this their their pictures were leaked online and these things happen so just be careful because especially if you have plans for your future like big plans especially things like politics if you're going to go all out in the public and people are going to see your face and know who you are you be a celebrity or a public figure or like some big personality human beings will go and look for your history they will drag you like i was talking about i was talking about muchada with my cousin or someone one day and then he was like i don't know that lady that had nude pictures leaked how many years ago i'm like uh-huh muchada i'm not sure and we googled it and it was there 10 years ago and it's still there it's still online you see <laughs> so please and it is always a mistake that's the, my problem is the fact that oh you're like oh my gosh it leaked oh my gosh oh my gosh it's a mistake but the mistake is leaving it on your phone just don't leave it. Don't leave it on your phone. Don't leave it on your laptop. If you don't know how to protect it, that nobody will see it. Don't bother leaving it. Or you should print the picture and then be looking at it. Or download it on a hard disk and be pressing. I'm using DVD player or laptop to watch it. If there's any sound that is not my voice that you are hearing, please disregard it. Okay? Very soon, my mic will be coming. My mic will be coming and so will be free from all these sounds that are not my voice. Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> okay so to the aunties and the sisters especially because we are the ones that suffer this a lot please if you have these kind of things on your phone or somewhere and you don't want anybody to see it please try try or find a way to keep it in a way that no one will see it if you think nobody will see it or just delete them because these stories are really like heartbreaking and it's, it could really be detrimental to whatever career goal or path that you are on so please, my advice to you is don't keep it. But if you are fine with your pictures trending or like, uh, uh, what am I to stop you? Uh, by all means, you can, you know. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. I hope I've passed this message across to you and you're okay with it. And um, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like share all those things are important to me and follow me on my social media it's at lisa israel on instagram and facebook tell me what you think about this i'd love to hear from you till next time see you